In this video, I am going to show you how to dynamically find a 7 day trend from a data. Hey there everyone, welcome to Technisha, where you can find tips and tutorials on productivity tools. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and smash the bell icon to stay updated. Finding short term data trends can be really insightful. Let's see how we can do this in Excel. Here is the sales data for a given month for a company. You have the date, name, category and amounts. Let's say that you wanted to see a 7 day trend for any date. We can easily do that in Excel. The date we want to see the trend for should be entered in cell G4 and then we need to get a chart which will show the short term trend. In our case, since we want to do a 7 day trend, I have made a table here for 7 cells. Let's enter a date in a cell G4. Let me pick 15 January 2020. Now let's assign the 7th day to the data in cell G4. All I am going to do is go to cell G14 is equal to cell G4. And the cells above that I am just going to subtract by 1. So the cell G13 which is serial number 6 is going to be cell G14 minus 1. And I am just going to copy and paste this data. So there, based on the date we have entered in cell G4, we now see the previous 7 dates. All we need to do now is calculate the amounts for the respective dates. And for that, you can use the formula SUMF. So I am just going to type in the formula in the cell H8 equal to SUMF of the range. The range is going to be the date range which is going to be from A3 to A18 and I am going to lock them by hitting F4. The criteria is going to be cell GA and the sum range is going to be cell D3. to D118. Just press enter. And now I am just going to copy the formula down there. So if I change this date to let's say 12, you will now get the data from 6 to 12. Let's just put it in a chart for a good visual representation. So I am just going to go to insert and let me just pick this chart. And let's just name it as 7 day trend. I'm just going to put it over my data. So now when the cell G4 is changed to let's say 25, 120, you can quickly see the data for the 7 days prior to it from 19 to 25. Charting short term trends can be really insightful for dashboards and reports. I hope that this tutorial was of use to you. If you liked it, please subscribe to the channel. Till next time, ciao.